For the stories, the Speaker of Cross River State House of Assembly, Elvat Ayambem, has been impeached by two third majority of the House. Mr. Ayambem was removed by 17 members out of the 25 member House over allegations of misappropriation of funds. Before he was removed at the plenary, a slight drama happened when the impeachment notice was tabled. In the notice made available to TVC News, the Speaker was impeached on four grounds bothering on financial misconduct incompetence and wrong conduct of preliminary proceedings, non-compliance with the Cross River State Legislature Fund, Management Law 2021, and total failure to convene a leadership meeting. The House turned violent when the notice was brought. For the removal of the Speaker of the President, a for more update, a lawmaker representing Bekwara State constituency in the Cross River House of Assembly, Charles Omang, joins me on the news. Good to have you join us. Thank you very much and good evening, viewers. All right, so before we even get into this conversation, we saw that drama playing out uh, where someone was making, almost uh, as though he was making, uh, you know, jumping to get the maze. Can you explain what went, you know, what happened there to us? Well, what happened there, I mean, it's regular in parliamentary sessions. It happens everywhere in the world. The motion for the removal of the speaker was validly moved, and that motion, I seconded that motion. And as soon as I seconded the motion, we had to third majority of members who signed for the removal of the speaker. So we, the member who moved the motion tried to lay the, a copy of our removal notice, and the sergeant at arms just, I mean, took a, a very surprising step, tried to snatch the mace and take it out of the chambers, and the member tried to protect the mace. It happens everywhere in the world. The mace is the symbol of authority that, I mean, that legalizes anything that is done in parliament. So we expected that after removing the speaker, everybody will watch and allow us to move to the next level. But the sergeant at arms tried to take the maze and run away from chambers. So all a member did was just try to protect the maze, which is a normal thing. It happens everywhere in the world. Mm. He tried to protect the maze, and it right. was a, a storm that uh, arose after that. Mm. Mr. Mang, you, you said you have removed the speaker, but the speaker is saying, look, he's still the speaker. And the chief press secretary told the speaker has described what happened today. Um, he described it as a ridiculous charade um, with no constitutional basis. And it says impeachment and replacement are speculative and not true, that they were not served any impeachment notice. How do you react to that? The law, the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as altered, does not provide for anybody to be served with an impeachment notice. What the Constitution in Section 92, Sub 2C, says is that a Speaker of a House of Assembly can be removed by two-third majority of members of the assembly. The Cross River State House of Assembly is made up of 25 members, 17 out of the 25, that forms two-third majority of the House, signed the impeachment notice. And the notice, the impeachment mot uh, motion was brought under matters of urgent public importance. That is the regular parliamentary proceeding. When it was brought up, a valid motion was moved and was also seconded. So asking anybody to go and serve you an impeachment notice does not, is not parliamentary, is not known to any law. Whatever this, the former speaker of the Cross River State House of Assembly and his chief press secretary say, they are just, I mean, a drowning man grabs at anything. So what they are saying is just to try to see how they can hang on to power. Ordinarily, we know that nobody will want to relinquish power. The paraphernalia of office as a speaker is so much that anybody with speaker will always want to keep the seat. Mm. But no matter how, I mean, how juicy you think it is to you, if the third majority of members of that assembly sign an impeachment notice, 
it is a removal notice mm. because in the parliament we don't impeach, we remove. The All law right. says we should remove. And mm. we, 17 out of 25 members, signed the removal notice. So right. whatever the former Mr. speaker... Mr. Mang, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure that that's been made clear. Um, but let me ask you, because I, I don't think that anybody was announced as a speaker in that proceeding. Who is the speaker um, for now in, in the Cross River State House of Assembly? Yes, when we removed the speaker, in fact, there was confusion, there was commotion. The chambers was no longer uh, conducive for parliamentary proceedings to continue. So, plenary, and we will elect a new speaker who will uh, pilot the affairs of the 10th Assembly in Cross River State. Do you have any name in mind? No, we are members of the assembly. We are meeting, right. we are holding consultations. We are meeting. And those who, anybody that is interested who wants to become speaker, it is his, that person's duty to lobby members. And if you lobby members and you carry majority of the members, you'll be elected speaker. That will be done any moment from now. All right, so we have no doubt, we have no fear about it, that we're right. going to elect a speaker. Mr. Mang, I have about 30 seconds left. Give us exactly why, or tell us exactly why you're removing the speaker and why it is taking 11 months, you know, since June last year. Yes, we were inaugurated on the 13th of June last year, and on that same day, we elected our former speaker, the Right Honorable Evert Ayambem, to lead the, the House of Assembly. And for 11 months, we have watched very closely, and with, I mean, with uh, a lot of concern that he has, is guilty of, uh, we, are, or we, are, we are alleging, we are accusing him, of financial gross misconduct. We are, we are, we are, we are also accusing him of, of uh, several other, I mean, as contained in the impeachment, uh, in the uh, notice, to, notice of removal. We say he has embezzled funds that belongs to the assembly. And also very fundamental is the fact that he's incompetent and he All conducts right. proceedings in the house in an unparliamentary way. So we are saying that we need a speaker that will redirect the Cross River State House of Assembly to enable us to support the governor of Cross River State, right. His Excellency Senator, uh, Senator Basio, too, to deliver the dividends of democracy to, uh, to Cross River All right. Thank you so much for your time. We're following this development. Um, the lawmaker representing Bekora State constituency in Cross River State House of Assembly, Chao Somang. Thank you very much.